channel. Today we're opening Discovery Mind Blown. Well, this is just the name. What we're actually opening is these two gems. And inside the gems, you'll find two gemstones. I already love the color of these, so I really don't want to break them at all. But they're so pretty. But I want to find what's inside them, so we have to. Uh, on the back side here it says dig up ancient gemstones just like a real geologist I've always wanted to be a geologist here it shows them crumbling the pink one right there and here is like a pink gemstone which is inside so I really want to open this so let's get started so I've opened the, on one side. So we're going to see our gems. We're going to pull this out. Hey, what's this? Okay. Ooh, what's this? It's pretty big. But we'll see that one later. First for our gems. So here we have this sparkly pink to yellow gem and here we have this blue to white gem which I love this one but I love them both so I'm gonna pop the pink one out it comes in this little container so cute here's our And here is our excavator. They always come with these so you can excavate, you know, like dig in there. So I'm peeling that off. And clean up. Oh, gotcha. We use this to go like this and mine the crystal like this. So I figured out that this is a poster so you can hang it on your wall or something. So this is called a brain blast. It'll give you information about some topics. So maybe here it says why gold never gets old and King Tut's golden coffin. Here is like an activity you can do with real life stuff. And here's this space gold. So I would read all of this, but I'm only gonna read a little. If you get the key, you can do it yourself. So I'm going to start with this one. For one thing, gold is pretty and shiny. Gold is also as soft and very easy to shape, which is why so much of it is made into jewelry. A single ounce of pure gold, it's about the size of a U.S. quarter, can be stretched to a length of 50 miles. All stretched out, it forms a wire that is only five microns thick. That's 15 times thinner than a human hair. Well, enough of this. But here are our instructions. These two are what we have. We are supposed to wet these. Then we keep it on a piece of paper. I'm gonna do it on this instruction paper. And then we start excavating with the chisel. That's this thing. And then we'll get our gemstones. So first, I'm gonna be right back wetting these two. Here are some fun facts that we can read after we excavate. I've wet these two under the uh, sink for like a few minutes. So now we're ready to start excavating. Hmm, which one to choose? Okay, I'll start with this one. So I'm gonna start with the middle, so it's easier to find the gemstone. Just gonna start there. This is pretty easy to remove. It just clumps up like that. This doesn't really need adults. 
because it's made for kids to excavate and remove. And this is a STEM project, which is pretty fun. This, I, I know it when I see it. It's right there. You can see that. That little chip right there. I'm gonna get that guy out. I wanna see that gemstone. Yeah, a lot of powder here. So I'm seeing something like clearish color right here. It's pretty clear to me. We wipe that. It's pretty clear. Actually, I feel like it's more white. <gasps> oh! Wahoo! There we go. So here is our clearescent gemstone that I've dug up from this. That's enough for this guy. Now for the blue one. So I've got this pretty blue one that I love right now. I'm hoping for something better than a clear uh, rock. So again, I'm gonna start digging from the middle. It's like this clayish feel inside. Like, it doesn't even feel like a rock at all or something that you dig. It just feels like soft, moldable clay when you dig into it. But it's really hard when you touch it. This is actually a pretty fun kit. And there are many others of these too. So you can check out some of these. Like all of them have like these excavating tricks like this. Some have brushes, some have even higher tools other than this guy. I'm just gonna start digging from the bottom like this. And I found it. <laughs> okay, I can't really see it, but I know it's darker than white. So now that I know it's right here, I'm gonna start digging like this, and from the bottom here. Actually, it's pretty easy from doing it from the bottom. Oh, I think I got a pink one. So pinky right there. Did you know that down in the mantle, the second layer of Earth's core, that's actually where diamonds form. There we go. Explodes. So I got this light pinky color, like the one in the cover. I didn't get the blue one though. Here are our two gemstones that we uncovered. I really like the pink one because at least it's in some color. Here are our two gemstones right here. They're about like your, the size of your thumb. The top part of your thumb right there. But I really like this pink one. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for more videos.